Well, welcome back. We are continuing our studies in the seven habits of a growing Christian. And, you know, as, as we grow as a Christian, it's going to require certain things. And we don't do them as a duty or uh, in legalism. We do them because we love Jesus and because he loved us. And we want to grow in our relationship with him. So if you haven't had a chance to go back and view the previous videos, the first one was about prayer, uh, that prayer is very important in our growing relationship. And now we're on faith. And last week we discussed faith, but I didn't quite make it through uh, all of the things that the New Testament teaches us about faith. So I want to take a look at that today, and uh, we'll try to make it very brief, as brief as possible. There's just three things that uh, I want to look at, and then uh, we'll jump into the next thing, and that will be uh, the Word of God and, and meditating on the Word of God properly. All right, so... One of the scriptures that talks about faith is when the disciples came to Jesus and they asked him, uh, help us out here. So in Luke 17, Jesus said to his disciples, if, you, if your brother or your sister sins against you, rebuke them. You know, tell them to stop. Tell them not to do that. And, you know, shame on you for behaving such a way. And if they repent, forgive them. If they say they're sorry, okay, all right, we'll let it go. Verse 4, even if they sin against you seven times in a day, and seven times they come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. There's another situation where Jesus refers to this as seven times seventy in a day. So the, the point is, is that no matter how often someone comes against us, that Jesus is encouraging them, you still should forgive those people that hurt you, that offend you, that have done you wrong. And then the apostles, this is their question, they said to the Lord, increase our faith. And in, in context, the reason they're asking this is Jesus is telling them to do something that is humanly impossible. We cannot go around forgiving those that have uh, done us wrong, stolen from us, uh, maybe a divorced spouse or someone that has hurt one of our children. Uh, so many things can happen in our life that we'll say, I'll never forgive them. So this is a natural uh, statement that the disciples have come to Jesus saying, increase our faith. Help us to be like you are where you forgive uh, on this level. And he replied, just Jesus talking, if you have the faith as small as a mustard seed, then you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted into the sea and it will obey you. Now, Jesus is not saying that we need to just go around uh, with faith very, very small because uh, he compares it to the side of a mustard. He's saying just talk to mountains, talk to trees, and have them uprooted and moved and thrown into the sea and go other places. If that was the case, we could go into the hospitals and, and speak that type of faith, and we could clear the hospitals out of all the sick people in the beds. No, this is a metaphor for him saying, if you have the faith and uh, as small as a mustard seed, and, and the mustard seed was very small in their day. This is the smallest uh, type of seed that they would have known, and they would have known that to plant it, it would grow uh, into a very large tree. So he's saying, if you have the faith in God, God can do remarkable things with your faith. That doesn't mean doing ridiculous things that doesn't, don't, don't mean anything to the kingdom of God. And sometimes very difficult things uh, will take place. I, I know of a very dear friend that uh, he just lost his daughter uh, to a terrible accident. And yet his testimony is still that we trust in God. We know that she is with the Lord right now. And his faith is growing as a result of this. And you know, could the Lord heal her in a way that she would still be with us physically? Yes, he, he can, but oftentimes things don't exactly go our way that we see. But God uses things that are beyond our understanding uh, to increase our faith. And this is one of the examples where Jesus said, you just need a little bit of faith in God and let God take care of all the situations that are going to rise up in your life. So um, it doesn't require... Uh, any faith in ourselves or any faith in something else, uh, it's requiring faith in God and to trust in Him, no matter what happens in our life, that He is going to do what is best for us. That's what this, this in context, that's what He's meaning by this. Not for us to go around speaking to trees and having them jump up and throw themselves somewhere else. All right, here's another situation uh, where we receive a measure of faith from God. Faith is not something that we can conjure up or something that we can just uh, 
act on and, and make it happen within ourselves, God gives us an ability to have faith. Here's a scripture in Romans 12, uh, verse 3. It says, Do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. And I wanted to fully understand this, so I went in, and, the, and this quote is so good out of the uh, interlinear Greek New Testament, I wanted to bring this in so you could read it with me. It says that faith, and there's the Greek word for faith, pistos, is always a gift from God, and never something that can be produced by a person. In short, the word faith for the believer is this. It's by God's divine persuasion. He persuades us to move toward Him. We don't go to Him on our own, but God, through the Holy Spirit, is calling us unto Himself. So, through His persuasion, moving us towards Him, uh, it's therefore distinct from a human belief or a confidence. It's not just us. It's a faith that God has granted us that we can grow in. Yet, it does involve it. There it says, uh, it does involve the human having faith, accepting this faith, but God is the one that initiates it. He's the one that starts the calling of us to bring us to himself because he loves us. The Lord continuously, excuse me, it goes on, um, the Lord continuously births faith in the yielded believer, that's us yielding to him, giving our lives over to him, so that they can know what God prefers, i.e. the persuasion of His will. So we continue to yield our will to God as He grows us in the faith of our relationship with Him. And without, we, we, we read in Hebrews last week that without faith it's impossible to please God. So our faith can grow as our relationship with Him grows, and that relationship uh, is almost entirely from his perspective. He comes to us seeking us first. He seeked me, and I gave my heart to him. I yielded to him. You can do the same thing if you have not uh, granted your life to Jesus. Here's one more verse I want to share with you, and then we'll be done for uh, this short, brief lesson on the the extra things of faith that the Scripture does teach. It says in Romans 10, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. So, if you want more faith, if you want to grow in your faith, this scripture teaches us that by hearing the message, and we know the message is that the that the Lord that God loves us so much that he gave his son and he died on the cross and he was resurrected from the grave. And then he showed him. He 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 showed up in in front of some five hundred different people, seeing him as he was alive. So we hear this message, and we choose to believe this message as well. It's it's the message that makes the most sense in the world. And it says through the word about Christ. So we learn to grow in our faith. We learn through our faith by learning what the word says. Repetition over and over. Here's another passage in Galatians. Before your very eyes, Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. I would like to learn just one thing from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by believing what you had heard? And Again, this is our faith not based on any kind of works, but our faith is based on trusting in Him and what He has done for us. Jesus went to the cross and we are justified by our faith in Him. The work has already been done by Christ. It's not faith plus works. It's faith equals, and we will work, we will love, we will cherish Him in our relationship with Him so much that that grows our faith. So as we continue growing in our relationship with Jesus, and uh, we continue growing as disciples, remember, faith is something that God can help us to grow in, but it does take us yielding ourselves to Him if we want to continue growing in our faith. And remember, just the faith of a mustard seed, the faith in God, the one that we cannot see, but the one that we know is there, who lives within our heart, who we see living and dwelling in other Christians around the world, we know that this faith continues to grow as we learn more about Him. So next week, I want to get into uh, what do we mean by 
hearing the message and uh, and the Word of Christ. How do we grow through the Word of God? Hey, God bless you and thank you for joining me this week. Let me pray for you, God. Just help us to continue growing in our faith and to believe on you and in all things that our trust just continues to grow because you have loved us first. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me.